morning, happy Saturday, and welcome back to another week in our lives. We are down at the lake this morning, and it's actually afternoon now. Uh, the kids just left, but we have guests checking in today, so we were getting the cabin ready. And first thing this morning, we got up bright and early and went to Kinsley's football game, which she's not a football player, she is a cheerleader, and we enjoyed spending the morning with them this morning. Uh, but it was so beautiful this morning, so nice and cool. It was like 57 degrees, and so I wore long sleeves. I actually wore like a pullover on top of this, and then I got ready to come down here, and it was still kind of chilly, and now I am dying. It is, it is still nice and mild compared to the weather we've been having, uh, but oh my goodness, just moving around cleaning has made me so hot this morning. So anyhow, um, I just wanted to open this vlog up. The lighting is really terrible, I just realized. Um, before we got too much further on with our day, like I said, we spent this morning with our mini family at Kinsley's game, and then now we're doing this, and then later Scotty and I get to go to a wedding, and I am very excited about that. Just a somewhat date night, and just to get, get out and do something fun. So, excited to get to that wedding, but now it is little after 12.30 and I'm ready to go home and eat some lunch and get into some cooler clothing and just enjoy the middle part of this day. Actually, I think I might go grocery shopping. I don't want to go grocery shopping. I might order groceries and see if there's a pickup time available. We'll see how that all that plays out. But for right now, we are done. I just wanted to open this vlog while I am in my most favorite place in the entire world. Uh, Scotty has just finished mowing, mowing and weed eating, so it always looks absolutely phenomenal when it is freshly mowed and weed eated but it's a glorious day here in southwest missouri and i'm so excited to bring you guys along with us for another week in our lives thanks for tuning in hang out with us see what else we can get into this week sorry it's loud there's laundry going all that jazz but i am ready for the wedding i'm gonna show you my outfit and um if you've been around a minute you know what i'm wearing already um, and i am so stinking excited about it Yep, if you guessed the black jumpsuit, you were right. Y'all, I love this love this thing. I don't know what it is about it. Um, I just, I don't know. I think it's nice and classy and cute, and I think it looks very flattering on me, and you know, I'm a curvy girl. Um, I do have some cleavage going on, but I have a safety pin right here. I'm gonna pin it in the truck, but we gotta go like now, because it takes an hour to get there, and we'll be there 15 minutes early if we leave now. Oh, and I was gonna show you. I was gonna wear heels, but this is probably a country wedding, just knowing it's my friend. Oh, another reason that I'm comfortable wearing this is, hang on, I feel more comfortable talking to you this way. Um, this is a friend of mine from high school, and I'm probably going to know him and maybe one other couple there. Like, I don't, I don't know. Maybe he still hangs out with a lot of people we went to high school with. I don't know. But, um... Even, you know, I don't know. I'm just to a point in my life where I love how I look and that's what matters and I don't really care as much what other people think. Um, and it's taken me a long time to get there. But anyway, so that's why I feel a little more comfortable wearing this to this wedding. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, um, he's like a country boy and it's probably out in a field somewhere. So instead of wearing heels, I decided to wear my loafers, but the gold chain I think look good and I kind of love my look. So. Now we're headed to the wedding. I just don't have my lipstick on, but it's in my purse, but we gotta go. So I'll see y'all at the wedding.
Everybody smile. <laughs> Gavin's like, yeah, I've never went that fast in the burnout. Hey y'all, happy Tuesday. Uh, sorry, I have not vlogged in a couple of days. Um, I really, I filmed a few things Sunday night uh, because the minis came over and Caleb came over for dinner. So we're trying to get back to our family dinner nights. Um, we're moving them to Sunday night because it's just working best during the school year with sports and all that jazz. So uh, anyway, I filmed those few little clips on Tuesday, or no, it is Tuesday, on Sunday night. Um, and then yesterday nothing happened. I, it was a busy day at school because it was my first day to do work with my students. But, um, as soon as I got home, I started working on school work, college work. I finished a paper, um, submitted it, cooked dinner, um, some banging chili. Oh my goodness. It was so good. I almost filmed it, but I was like, just, I don't know. You know, I've kind of been in a blah mood the last two days. Um, and I don't want to talk about why maybe by the end of this vlog, I will. Um, but I don't want to cry right now. So <laughs> anyway, uh, so I made some really good chili and then I got back to doing college work and finished a third of my science class that I just started. So, um, anyway, just knocking out some college work right now. It feels good to be getting back in the groove of it because y'all know it took me too long to get back in the groove of it um, and get that math class finished and all that jazz. So, um, anyway, so it's Tuesday and I had to go to the bank to deposit church money and then I went and checked my P.O. box and I was like, okay, well, I still have like an hour and a half. Okay. Like an hour and 15 minutes until, um, I have to be at the school. And so I'm going to go to Dollar Tree. Y'all, I haven't been to Dollar Tree in so long. And there are a few little things that I kind of quote unquote need want for my classroom. Um, so I'm going to kind of look for those things. But if I don't find them, you know, I just want to browse and just see what they have because it's been so long. Plus, it's fall season. Mandy just put out her fall decorating video. That, like, made me want to kick into high gear to get decorations done. And then um, Kim Wadsworth just posted her um, decoration haul. I've started watching it. I haven't finished it. So I don't know if she decorates in it, too, or if it's just the haul. Um, but I really want to decorate for fall. Everything's probably depleted from the Dollar Tree, but I'm going to look for a few little things um, while I'm in there. And then, like I said, for a few things for my classroom and just kind of peruse and see what's there. Um, I think we actually need some shampoo and conditioners and stuff for the Airbnb, but I don't know if I want to get those today or not. Um, I thought about going to Walmart and spending my gift card that I got for my perfect attendance but I don't feel like trying on clothes today. So I actually love my outfit today and I got several compliments on it, but I've got, um, just some like striped, um, cropped slacks on that I don't wear very often. I don't know why, cause they're so cute on, but I have like this one shirt that matches it, you know? Okay. Anyhow, I'm going to go to Dollar Tree. It's getting hot in here. It's actually a beautiful day. It's only in the like mid seventies today. Um, but it's getting hot in here without my car running. So I got to find my purse. Okay. It's back here. Um, yeah, I don't think I even talked to you guys about the wedding either. So I need to do that at some point during um, this vlog because it was a fun time. But okay, so I'm going to go into Dollar Tree and, you know, I'll bring you along if I find anything cool. And if I don't find, I mean, if I don't find anything cool that I'm not going to buy, I'll just do a quick little haul when I get back in the car. Can't even see. Okay, I'm done and it's 5.15, uh, so I don't have time to haul that because I got way too much stuff, um, but I found, gosh, lighting's terrible, I found several cute fall things and several things for my classroom that I was looking for and needed, and so I'm excited about it, so I'll haul it when I get home, but also after the game, I have to come back and pick up my grocery order because I finally ordered groceries. Um, so I'll have to do my grocery haul, which of course will go up Thursday. Um, but the Dollar Tree haul will go up on this. So anyhow, I need to get to the volleyball game. I should have got a drink because I'm now very thirsty. I can get one at the game. It'll be fine. Do I have any cash? Good question.
y'all. Happy Thursday. Um, I haven't talked to you since Tuesday, I do believe. Man, my hair is looking interesting right now. Um, I should have filmed earlier because I wore a little headband, but I put it up after school. Anyway, good grief. Hi. Uh, I haven't talked to you since Tuesday. I was going to do the Dollar Tree haul on my weekly blog, then decided to go ahead and put it on my grocery haul. So if you want to see what I got, go check out this week's grocery haul if you have not already done that. Um, and then last night was church and what today oh I need to show you guys stuff in my classroom tomorrow so try not to let me forget to do that uh, but it's Thursday night I'm cooking dinner I'm making one of our favorite meals which, which is chicken and green rice um, but my chicken was still frozen and so I boiled the chicken and then pulled it apart and put the pulled apart chicken in with the rice and now the rice is baking so I'll show you it when it's done but what I wanted to show you now is um, I boiled all that chicken and I got the most beautiful rich chicken broth and so you probably notice I don't ever buy chicken broth um, in my grocery hauls or maybe you haven't noticed but now you probably will be like oh yeah that's right she never buys chicken broth it's because every single time I boil chicken I reserve the broth so even if it's boneless skinless chicken breast it doesn't create much fat or anything like that but I still reserve that chicken water you know um, because why not it's basically free you're there's Aiden. <laughs> um, you're you're boiling it anyway. I mean, why not freeze it and use it in dishes when you need chicken broth? But this is like beautiful, rich, perfect chicken broth. Um, and so I just was going to show y'all that. That is all. <laughs> okay, so I ended up with like a lot of it, like two eight cups of it, because there was a lot of chicken. Um, but anyway, yeah, look how thick and rich and perfectly golden it is and then this is all that was like left on the bone and this and the skin because it was so dang hot I couldn't pick it all off so once it completely cooled um, I picked the rest of it off and I'm just gonna use that for dog snacks just give them a little bit here and there um, so yeah I just wanted to show you all that we really the only thing I threw in the trash was the bone off of that chicken so we really try and use up every bit of it you know I've talked about it with our um, uh, deer how we really try and use every bit of the animal whenever we process a deer but I really just try and be like that anyways so I don't know if you noticed in my grocery hauls I try and buy a lot of things that I would make from scratch um, I'm doing that shelf timber where I'm using a lot more things out of my freezer which we're not home as much because the kids have sports but just trying to use up everything that we have and when I use it up I try and you know really use it up every every last little bit of it because we have to make our money stretch the best that we can <laughs> every time that we can and I think everyone hopes for to do that you know so this is just one little tip to give you you know when you boil your chicken freeze your broth it lasts for quite a while several months in the freezer um, but I, you know it doesn't have to last that long because I use it up quite a bit I mean every time I boil chicken just to do I don't know chicken salad sandwiches or um, when I make um, buffalo chicken dip I boil the chicken I freeze that broth so these are great containers I get them at the Dollar Tree there's two of them for a dollar dollar twenty-five um, but anyhow so they freeze two cups of broth and then you have two cups of chicken broth every time you need it so anyway there's just my little my little tip for the moment um, nothing else nothing else has been going on this is probably gonna be a short vlog but anyhow that's all just wanted to say hey um, I think I still wanted to talk to you all about the weekend I might could do that now let me go sit down all right I just came into my bedroom because one it's quiet two there's a football game in the living room and Aiden would be like are you done talking yet <laughs> so I shouldn't talk for long hopefully not but so Saturday we went to my friend's wedding and it was so fun I'll insert a picture because it was basically a class reunion there were so many people and there was one other guy and his wife that were there but they left before we took the picture we didn't think to take a picture early on but anyhow so it was nice to spend time with them and it was nice to just be me and Scotty at the wedding and have a nice little kind of date night oh speaking of Scotty hang on okay he was just telling me he's gonna go look for deer before it gets dark um because tomorrow is opening day of archery season so that's pretty crazy tomorrow September 15th um I haven't even shot my bow once I said I was gonna hunt this year but I'm probably not I should I don't know we spent that time getting the blind ready 
But I also have college work, so the kids can hunt out of that blind. Anyway, okay, gosh, back to the weekend. So anyway, it was a really fun time hanging out with our friends and just kind of having a date night. Like, we never get date nights because we're so dang busy. So anyhow, um, and then Sunday was church and um, I, I had said, mentioned earlier this week that I was kind of having a blah few days and I feel like I can finally talk about it. I talked about it Tuesday night with my family and I still cried about it. So <laughs> maybe I can't get through it, but I don't know. I probably can't. So Sunday we were, so our classroom's downstairs in the basement. And um, so we had Sunday school and then the bell rings, which tells us it's time to come up from Sunday school and start church, you know? So I was like turning off the light and the coffee pot and putting breakfast in the thing. And like, I was kind of the last one in the classroom, which is typical. And I was like to the door and I thought I heard my dad's voice <laughs> and like just for like a half a second nope I may not get through it without crying like half a second I just was like oh, my daddy you know like gosh yep thought I was gonna be able to um Cause I wouldn't, I didn't see my parents a ton, you know, before my dad got sick and we started spending a lot more time with him, but we would pretty much only see them twice a week at church, Sunday and Wednesday. And then towards, you know, once he started getting real sick or not, once he got his cancer, um, he really didn't go to church on Wednesdays cause that's a bunch of kids and trying to stay healthy, you know? So I would pretty much see him like on Sundays. And so I would always hug him at the door and give him a big kiss and, um, that would be like our Sunday morning, you know, and, um, he would do the announcements. And so like, if we were running late, he would say something, which would, we could hear downstairs. And it's just so weird. Like for that brief second, I just thought I heard his voice and it just really got me down for that day. And I'm fine, <laughs> but gosh, I thought this many days later I could talk about it without crying, but and then I finally told my family about it on Tuesday, like, you know, Scotty and the kids. Um, well, Katie asked me on Sunday, like, you all right? <laughs> she noticed that I was kind of down. So I told her, of course, cry about it then. Cause that was fresh. That was that same day. So then Tuesday, I thought I was better cried telling them Thursday I thought I was better anyway it's just weird grief is weird and that's it <laughs> so I just yeah grief is weird I just want to bring y'all along when I have these moments because I know someone's going to relate to it you know and um there's comfort in that there's comfort when people relate and like it's hard too because like you you feel bad for them and you feel bad for yourself but there's comfort in um knowing that other people know how you feel I guess I don't know that's so stupid but you don't want people to feel sad like you feel sad you know okay gosh anyway cannot articulate my thoughts now because I thought I could do that without crying but whatever <laughs> so anyhow that's it. That's just all I wanted to talk to you guys about the weekend. And, um, other than that, it was a good weekend. It was great that the, the minis came over and Caleb was over and it was a lot of fun and, um, definitely what my heart needed to see them and spend time with them after having a blah day on Sunday. So, okay. <clears throat> that is all. Um, I feel very weird right now. So I'm going to go check on my dinner. Let's see what time is it. Oh yeah, 7.40. Um, and it was going to be ready about 7.40. Actually, I thought I was going to have it ready at 7.30. But then I finally got it in the oven at 7 o'clock on the dot. So 7.45 is when it should be done. I'm just going to go check it now. So I'm hungry. I'm ready to go eat. And it's one of my favorite things to eat. So I'm very excited. So, oh, oh so I'm going to show you. So come with me. Let's go check on this rice and chicken. Chicken and rice. Chicken's cooked, but the rice... I mean, just, just go, go get it out of the oven. So typically I would have, um, sorry, I'm all shaky. 
a whole chicken, bone-in chicken in here, and then you salt and pepper and all that stuff, and you cook it in with the rice. But, again, like I said, it was frozen, so I cooked it, boiled it, and then peeled it apart and put it in here. So, chicken and green rice, which is rice with bell peppers and green onions, and it's delicious. So, I'm ready to eat. Kids are starving, so we're going to eat. Hey y'all, happy Friday. Uh, obviously in my classroom, it is my plan period. I'm fixing to do something and I was gonna show you what it was, but um, I had said in my grocery haul to watch my weekly vlog to see what I did with certain things that I picked up at the Dollar Tree. And now I'm trying to remember what all those things were. I know for a fact one thing was this paper tray. I absolutely love it. It fits so perfectly on my shelf here. It doesn't hang off at all. Um, but this is exactly what I wanted it for because, like I said, I would just have all of this in like one stack or I would try and like separate it all along the top of my bookshelf here. That fell off the wall. I need to fix it. But anyway, um, yeah, so I already love that so much. It fits perfect. It looks so cute. I love it there. It doesn't match in my room at all. But I like it a lot. Um, what else? Oh my gosh, I cannot remember. I know that pocket chart because that's what I'm fixing to do. Oh yes, okay, those bins. So yeah, one thing um, for my scrap paper. So here's all of my like weird shaped little scrap paper. So most of it came from when I was doing my um, skip count numbers, which I still haven't hung my correct 9, 10, and 11. I mean... <laughs> Oh, it's been a long week. We get up at two today and I cannot wait. No PLC. Um, I have not fixed my 10, 11, 12. I should do that today just so that it's done. Um, anyhow, when I was cutting all of those out, I was having all these like little random extra pieces and one, I'm a pack rat, but two, I'm like, this is great little scrap paper that would be great for like the kids doing a craft or something, you know? So, um, keeping it in that bin for, mostly for next year when I have my own class and I have either indoor recess or whatever. I plan on having centers for indoor recess. Um, we don't have time to do centers for anything else. I know people do centers for math so that they can do STEM men's and all that kind of stuff, but I'm going to do centers for indoor recess so that not every kid is on their Chromebook every time we have indoor recess. And once, well, actually fourth grade, their second recess is always indoor recess because it's at the very end of the day and cars are already lined up by the um, playground and they don't like going out there with the cars lined up by the playground. Anyway, uh, so where in the world did I put that other one? I don't remember. Uh, so anyhow, um, I plan on doing centers for indoor recess. Oh yeah, I put it here with the Legos. I was like, where did I put it? Um, and then this was the extra, or those shapes that I had. Um, the bin's so big. Now I'm like, mm, I need to scour like other area Dollar Trees and find more of those. Because I just think they're super cool um, for like just something new and different. So anyhow, I really am going to look around at other Dollar Trees in my area and see if I can find more of those packages. Riley was actually really sad that I went to Dollar Tree without her because we had just talked about going together. So Maybe tomorrow we will make a point of going together. Um, okay, last thing. It's this pocket chart. So I already have one over there with my membership cards in it. So there's only two kids that have started reading books. Um, and then I have my sticker store here, which I was going to put a vinyl thing right here. and made it and everything. It would not stick to this material. That vinyl would not stick. <laughs> so... Uh, it was Dollar Tree vinyl, but I've not had trouble with Dollar Tree vinyl. I feel like that vinyl, maybe this one behind me. Oh, sorry, I'm not even showing you. I feel like that vinyl was Dollar Tree vinyl. Maybe not. I don't know. Maybe this one was. doesn't matter. Anyhow, so I was going to like fold this because the one in here is folded also. I was going to fold it, and then I realized, hang on, can I do this one-handed? It'll fit sideways. The whole thing will fit in here sideways. This is a really horrible illustration. Um, so I'm just going to take that completely down, take the border off. I don't love it anyways. It doesn't really match my room at all, but I'll probably put the same one back on there. I don't know. Um, turn it sideways and 
then turn my whole sticker store sideways and then it'll be like this and I can put so many more stickers on it and I absolutely love that idea. So let's do that together. I'm trying to fill some content here because I know this vlog's pretty pretty short. So yeah, let's fix my sticker store together. Uh, I'm excited. I'm super excited. As soon as I realized that was going to fit on there long ways, I was like, heck yeah. So anyway, yeah, let's get that done together. Oh gosh, that was like barely up there anyway. That's kind of scary. On my kid's head. Okay, where are we going to put you? done uh so happy with it i still hate the border but <laughs> i didn't even try a different one because i know the red i have is a different color shade of red and then i have green and it would look like christmas so uh i was just like whatever i'm not even gonna try so uh love it fits so many more stickers because i pretty sure yeah to like goofy right there um is all that was in so the top two rows and then the third row to goofy um and then everything else is new new stickers. So one, two, three, four and a half extra rows that I wouldn't have had otherwise. So I absolutely love it. I think it's phenomenal. Now I have a problem because I have it hung up with these like command Velcro strips, which, um, when I went to take it off the wall, it was like barely like it took zero effort to get it off the wall and kids sit in that chair and it was hanging above that chair. So I really do not want it falling on someone's head, especially after, you know, one or two kids get a sticker out of there, it'll loosen it. So I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, I might try and hot glue it. Um, I've really gotten into hot gluing things on my wall. It works really well and it peels off really well. So I might do that. I'm going to look in my little container and see what I have left. But uh, yeah, I'm very happy with how it turned out and how many more stickers I get. And um, yeah, so starting next week, we're going to start doing sticker stores. So this was definitely something I needed to get rounded out today to make sure it is ready for next week. So, you know, now that it's like this, I'm thinking I could probably make a little vinyl. It would probably stick to that border. I could make a white board or white, another white sticker that says sticker store and stick it to that border. That might look cute. Um, okay. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to hang this back up, figure out how to hang it up. And who knows what else what time is it? Mm, 1036. So by the time I get this done, it's going to be lunchtime. So yeah. Yay. I got one thing done today. I'm trying to do some planning for next week. It has just been so disjointed since we have started school like seriously I just feel like I can't get anything done and it's just hard so next week I'm just ready to hit the ground running and we're going to start with our phonemic awareness and do some Hegarty exercises I want to do some writing I definitely want to get them reading um because some of them are like an enigma to me like I have I I don't even know like they their handwriting is atrocious they cannot spell I cannot read like most of the words they write but then they go and read and it's like but you can read so it's weird um usually they go very much hand in hand and I'm a little confused right now so yeah I've got a uh not not a tough group they're the sweetest little sweethearts but like I can't figure out how to teach this group yet <laughs> and part of it's because I haven't spent a lot of time with them because we've had assembly after assembly after assembly and just like so many things going on in school so far so anyway fun things good things but hard to work around for my schedule type of things so okay that's enough rambling I need to get this put up before I run out of plan time so yep super happy with it thanks for helping me out with it Okay, it's the end of the day. It's 2.15. I can leave 
So I'm going to show you two things really quick and then I'm out. <laughs> um, oh, three things because I got that hung back up. I just hung up with those Velcro strips again. Fingers crossed it doesn't fall on a kid, but I love it there. So two things. Um, one, I got my school picture today and it's pretty cute. I actually don't hate it. Um, the badge version that I got, I was going to show you and I'm like, well, it's got my school name on it and everything. Um, let's see. Yeah, I think I can show you this without showing you anything. Um, anyway, I think it's pretty cute. <laughs> uh, and it looks better on this version. So I'll turn my camera around and show you that. And then the other thing I'm going to show you is I made a bunch of bookmarks for my class. And so, because they read a lot of books in my class. And so they color them and they put them in their bookmarks. No, the book bins. So that they have a bookmark when it's time to read books. And so I wanted to show you the bookmarks that I made because they were really cute. Also, Aiden does not have practice. Sorry, that knee that you see behind my shoulder. <laughs> he actually does not have practice for once. Um, so we're going home. Riley drove today so she could, could come home after practice. Okay, anyway, I'm talking fast because I'm ready to go. Um, anyway, I wanted to show you my picture and the bookmarks that I made. And it's Puppy Friday. <laughs> she brings her dog every Friday. Um, our uh, an admin that's in our building. Okay, anyways, let's. I'm going to show you these things and go home. Okay, so first of all, there's my picture. I think it's so nice. I actually really like it. And then I like the little thing it comes on. But, yep, there's my picture. And then here's the bookmarks. Okay, I'm going to try and hold it with my left hand so I can scroll. So, um, they love stitch. Oh, where's my mouse? They love stitch. So I made a lot of stitch ones. And then, got to throw in my faves, Mickey. Got some Tigger, some Princesses, Bambi, of course, Disney World, Frozen. Trying to just get something for everybody. <laughs> There's like kids sounding like puppies now. Star Wars, superheroes, Baby Yoda, and that is all. You'd be a lot less grumpy if you would like read. <laughs> Okay, anyhow, uh, that's it. That's all I wanted to show you. I think I've shown you everything I wanted to show you in my classroom. And now I'm ready to go because I can. So I'll see y'all at the house in a little bit. All right, y'all, we have come to the end of this vlog. Um, <laughs> it's, I don't, oh, I don't have my watch on. I've been doing laundry. I thought about kind of doing like a laundry chat because I don't think this is a very long vlog, but sometimes I prove myself wrong. I'm like, there's not very much content. And then it's like, oh crap, there's a ton of content. I'm going to have to cut it down. Uh, anyway. Who knows? Hopefully it's at least 20 minutes long. But, uh, so I just made french fries for dinner. Um, sorry, my kitchen's a mess. Those are clean at least. Um, but I did chili Monday night, I think, because the weather finally like dropped. So I was like, oh, perfect chili weather. Uh, yeah, it was Monday night. And so we had quite a bit of leftover chili. So I made just a whole bag of french fries and we had chili cheese fries. And I used the Velveeta cheese that I forgot to buy pretzels for. I use that in on the fries um, and then just some shredded cheese too. So anyway, a couple things. That was one thing I wanted to tell you. Another thing is um, I used one of these and Riley used one of them. It's literally an icy hot patch, <laughs> but they're, they're nice and they like, they're icy hot. Like they are potent. I had to like put them in a Ziploc bag because once I opened the like, foil bag that they were in they were so potent like the icy hot smell you know I was like oh man I'm burning my eyes but they are super sticky um and I actually I had it on my back and it was so hot um and I have this like spot on my hip that has been hurting from when we went to the water slide it's been hurting ever since so I took it off my back and put it on my hip and it still stuck like super good so even like repositioning it it stuck Trying to get one out of here. So there's 20 patches in this bag or box. Again, it's a Dollar Tree. And so it's just this little patch, but there's two on this one sheet. So one on the front and back. But yeah, it's like making my eyes water almost smelling it. I mean, I love the icy hot smell. Do not get me wrong. Um, but it is potent. So anyway, um, I had mentioned in my haul that, you know, if they weren't any good, oh well. That no, they're actually really good. Riley said it was soothing, but it did not help her back really. Um, didn't really take the ache out. Um, I think that was it. 
my table's a mess. But Riley and I are going to decorate for fall tomorrow. And I just saw it's teacher and student day at the Samaritan shop. I do not need clothes, y'all. I need actually I do. I need short sleeve blouses. And we are only allowed to wear jeans on Friday this year. Every well, the last two years since I've worked there, we could wear them on Wednesdays. And we could wear jeans on spirit days. And now we cannot. We can only wear them on Fridays, period. So I need a lot more like short sleeve tops. Most of the tops I have are like sweaters and long sleeve and whatever. So I need, I really do need some short sleeve. So maybe they probably are starting to put out all the fall and winter stuff, but I still want to go. I still want a coffee table. I'm still on the hunt months later for a coffee table for our living room. Um, and they've had a couple of there and I almost bought one the other day, but it was $40 and it was broke broken. Like Scotty could easily put a screw in it and it would be fine. But I'm like, it's not exactly what I want and it's $40. So if it was exactly what I wanted, I would spend $40 on it. But, uh, so I'm just going to keep looking there and there's also, um, Salvation Army right next door. So I might check there too. So anyway, I don't know why I'm even talking about that. <laughs> what I'm going to do tomorrow, I guess, um, decorate for fall. I think cause, um, these little, um, containers that are not containers, but little pumpkin things that I got the other day are sitting right here in front of me and they're getting me super excited for fall. And um, our FFA sells mums, and mine came in, so they're sitting in there in the living room. Um, so, anyway, <laughs> just a weird night. I have been doing, I already told you, been doing laundry all evening. I am so far behind on laundry, but feeling like I'm almost got it caught up, so thank goodness. That was nice. Uh, but yeah, now it's like 9 o'clock, and I need to edit this vlog and probably do some homework as well. So, anyhow, yep. That's going to do it for this one. Thank you all so much for coming along with me this week. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. If you did, make sure you give me a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. And of course, subscribe to my channel if you are not already. Um, I get new subscribers every week and it's so fun. If you're new, always let me know in the um, description, not description box. That's where I write things. Um, the comment box if you're a new subscriber, which most people do on my grocery hauls. But if you're a first time watcher of a weekly vlog, I would love to hear from you too. So anyhow, thanks so much for coming along with me this week. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, that's going to do it for this one. I'll see you in the next one. I love you so much. Bye.